Hey everybody, I'm going to show you needle felting today, which is what I use to embellish this little felted bag that I made. This is a little flower and a butterfly, and these are supposed to be little hearts, but my needle felting skills are not so great, so they don't really look that much like hearts. Um, but first we're going to take a look at some of the felting paraphernalia. All of this stuff is from Clover. You can find a lot of it in the craft stores or online. First we have these felting needle mats, a big one and a small one. And these are what you put your item over top of that you are adding your embellishment to. And then we have uh, this little a pen style felting tool. You can see it looks just like a pen. There are the needles in there sticking out. I'm sure you can see those. And then there's uh, a felting tool that looks like this. And then they have, uh, these are the replacements that go in these gadgets. But, and then we have the molds. Uh, this one is a snowflake, or they're calling it a snow crystal. Here's the butterfly and the little hearts that I just showed you on the white bag. Looks much better than mine. Here's a pansy. Here's a rose. And a little little flower and berry design. And I think they also have a, a bunny mold. I don't have that one though. So that is uh, some of the stuff that you'll see for needle felting. And there is one other thing. You will need some roving to do your felting. This I got from Knit Picks. There's, it's just a bunch of different colors as you can see and there are other color combinations that they have. This was really reasonably priced. If you like needle felting and plan on doing a lot of it, I would recommend getting this stuff from Knit Picks. It can be kind of hard to find in the craft stores and I have never seen bags that have this much roving in them at the craft stores like Michael's or Joann's. Uh, pack Catan's maybe. Usually it's just maybe like a handful of the roving. It's about probably half the size of one of the balls that's in this bag and it's kind of expensive so like I said if you will be doing a lot of the needle felting you might want to try Knit Picks. Maybe some other online stores sell it in large bags like this. So that is the stuff for needle felting, I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to show you this little flower here. You might recognize this piece from my machine felting video. I have my mat here that I was showing you earlier. I have some of the roving. I have my mold that I'm going to use to make my flower. And I have my felting pen here. And with your molds, if you buy the clover molds, you will get this little piece of plastic and you can use this to stuff the roving down into the tight spaces on your mold. And let me show you this pen here. These needles that are in here are really, 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 really super sharp. I don't know if you can see here, those little barbs on the needles. That's what does the felting. But they're super, super sharp. They will draw blood. It is very painful if you stab your finger with these. So you want to be really careful when you're using this. You can use all three needles. You can use two 
or you can use one. There are directions on the package, of course. So I'm just going to take um, the item that I'm felting here and put it on my mat. And then put my mold on. Just turn it like that. And there's not very much uh, room here to felt. Some of these molds, um, if you want to get down in here as far as possible to get all of the roving stuffed in, you can take this part off and it comes with this little shield. You put that on instead and that gives you more area to work with when you're felting. And you don't need a whole bunch of roving. Start out with just a little bit at a time. You can always add more but you cannot take away. And I think if you use too much of the roving your design can lose its, its uh, definition. And it's just going to look like a blob. So less is more. I'm just going to put this in here. And I don't know if you'll find this useful or not. Sometimes I just don't even use it, but I'm just using it here to show you what you're supposed to do with it. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit more in here. Just pull off a very little bit. And you can roll it up a little bit. You might want to do a test run with this before you actually use it on your project just so you can get the feel of it. Okay, like I said, you can always add more later. So I'm going to just start punching here with my needles. And you want to make sure that you're going straight up and down when you're doing this. You don't want to go at an angle. You can break your needles. I have done that before. And it's a pretty quick process. I've only done this a few times to embellish a few things so my needle felting skills are not so hot. And this isn't the only thing that you can do with needle felting. You can get really into it and do like three-dimensional figures. I've seen that at some craft shows. It's really nice, the things you can do. Okay, so I have a few uh, spots in here that aren't covered so well. So I'm going to take some more of my roving here. And I'm not going to use that plastic thing. I'm just going to start punching. doesn't take a whole lot. Okay, well I might need a little tiny bit more. Let's see, okay. You always want to try to get this done the first time around. If you have to take it, the mold off, it's hard to get it back exactly in the same position. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> like I said, you can always add more, but you can't take away. So it's better to keep adding instead of having too much and having a ruined design. Okay. Well, 
I think for demonstration purposes that's going to be sufficient to get the idea of what's going on here. Alright, so there's my little flower. Let me just peel it off the mat and show you what the back looks like. A bunch of fuzz. So that's the little flower. Can't really see that, I guess. The pink. And you can do a different color for the center if you wanted. And that's it.